Amid the shock of loss, questions about how and why the Titan disappeared arise. Foremost among them is a single query, was this ever safe? The submersible was never certified for use, but a loophole allowed it to operate at the Titanic wreck site, as in previous missions due to being in international waters. Five years ago, the Marine Technology Society wrote to Ocean Gate expressing concerns that the company's experimental approach could result in negative outcomes, ranging from minor to catastrophic. Unfortunately, this dispute was never resolved. The writer of that letter still haunted by the incident remarks, to do five passengers. It does push the envelope, and you've got to do the numbers right. Ocean Gate was taking a strategy of intentionally breaking the rules because they believed they could do it better and faster. However, this mindset has left them in a tragic situation. Those in the technical field are sincerely driven by a deep duty of care, but regrettably, the submersible industry is thriving. Unlike the Titan vessel, the submersibles produced by a Dutch company must pass a rigorous process of safety checks before they can be sold. The design and materials are certified and every stage of the build is inspected. Once a submarine is ready, they conduct tests on every safety system repeatedly, going to the actual diving depth of each submarine. By the end of the process, there is a substantial amount of paperwork. These machines do not reach the depths of the Titan. They are designed for hundreds, not thousands of meters. Nonetheless, they provide insights into what it must have been like aboard the submersible. While the Dutch submersible offers improved communications and modern features, the dimensions are similar to the Titan. With five people inside, it feels cramped, making it extremely unpleasant for a few days. The industry is currently shocked by the incident and seeks to understand what went wrong and why.